Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sandy. So I wanted to take a few minutes and I wanted to acknowledge all the wonderful people that are following us on all social media platforms, including what I'm having fun with with TikTok and bringing little informationals as well as also YouTube. And um, we have Facebook. We have over 30,000 people that follow us on the main page and also on in the group support and our resilience page. It's so important to me. And I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, as well as also those little bit of donations that we get help us to continue the path of bringing more of this awareness to everybody. We are nurses against violence. We are against all forms of violence, especially in healthcare, as well as also racism, uh, violence against children, as well as also against elderly. We are also um, definitely against all kinds of violence that help happen on the floor, including incivility, as well as also those that, you know, purposely and indirectly try to sabotage somebody's uh, career, which is very unprofessional, and to also help administration to understand that they can, they can achieve everything that they want if they just listen and they build relationships and have an open communication with their workforce. And to sometimes be side by side in the trenches with them can build morale as well as also increase retention. We are not against employers and we, we love everybody, but there comes a time when we have to stand up and start helping each other advocate for ourselves and the, the crumbling morale of healthcare workers. We have a huge problem out there and it's it's called COVID trauma. We also have people that, you know, that have been working in the trenches that can't even think about it. People ask them, oh, how many people have died? Well, guess what? That's none of your business. And these healthcare workers that have suffered very large amounts of trauma from dealing with thousands, sometimes hundreds of people that have died, sometimes, you know, during the week, and even in the worst times, thousands and thousands in a week. So let's have some compassion and stop bragging and not bragging, but uh, having this conversation of, well, you know, I'm not on the floor. I've been working over here in the school. So how many cases? Maybe your what you're asking is okay here in your mind to say to somebody that's been working with hands on COVID, but to them, they're crumbling and they're dying inside. So it's not okay to ask them if they want to talk about, hey, how many COVID patients did you see die? That's not okay. That's just like asking a war vet when they come back from war, hey, so how many people did you kill? How good would you think that response would go over from a vet? Not so well, not so good, right? So let's let's have some consideration for those that are working with COVID patients and 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 to understand to whatever you can understand the fact that sometimes just being there and being their friend and helping them smile just about for anything else, you know, hey, you're doing a great job, or hey, you know, I'm here for you. Hey. They're not, they don't feel like a hero, okay? They're not fighting a war with guns, shooting the enemy. What they're doing is trying to save thousands of people from dying on a daily basis. So we need to have some understanding and consideration and compassion and empathy that our COVID nurses and those also our CNAs, that are in the very, very front line, that they are comforted with the fact that they know and they don't feel like a hero. So please don't confuse being a hero with shooting bang bang at people because I love our vets, but please don't take this wrong. It's not okay for what's happening with our COVID nurses. And it's another form of combat trauma called COVID trauma. These nurses are hurting, these CNAs are hurting and it's not okay to just freely ask them, how, how many people have they seen die? Because that's how many people have they been trying to save that have died? So I wanted to leave you with that. I wanted you to understand a little bit more about what our nurses are doing out there and our CNAs, because they are trying to win a battle that has been handed to them and they were never prepared, both from education and from their employers. 
Instead, they're giving garbage bags or people have had to figure out ways to keep themselves safe. It's not okay. It's not okay. And if you are an administrator, please stop calling them a hero and please stop giving them pizza. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, you're going to see a revolution happen. And it's happening right now. Nurses are done. Nurses are leaving the bedside. Nurses are speaking up. Nurses are fighting back in a smart, and not only, and not only that, in a smart way, but they are also joining forces like nothing I've ever seen in my whole career. I've got goose pimples about how many people that have reached out to me lately and then have said, I'm done. I want to join. Come on, let's do this. It is free to be a part of our organization. And we are not a part of any kind of organization out there. The reason why, because we don't charge you to be a part of us. And number two, we give a crap about what happens to you because we have been there on the front line and we don't forget where we came from. Even though that we are doctorally prepared, we are master prepared, we don't forget. And let me tell you something, if you turn your head on a nurse and a nurse's aide to think that you're better than they are, you're gonna be the one that has to deal with whoever you're gonna deal with as your maker at the end. And you should be ashamed of yourself for turning your back on a, on a loving and caring profession. Because I'm gonna tell you, we have a lot of heart and we're coming, we're coming back strong. And I'm so proud of our nursing, our healthcare organization and we are going to make things happen. You watch, we are getting big. So stay tuned. Thank you.